Hello, welcome back to Dead on Move, and we are in part two of a full solo playthrough of Imperium Classics. It's a game by Nigel Buckle and David Tertzi, and with a minimum of preamble, I'm going to dive straight back into the game. Uh, just a quick overview, recap of where we're up to. I have now, as the Persian side, upgraded or ascended to my empire, meaning that I need to now focus on getting these development cards into my deck, gaining VPs and actions I can more effectively use or can use at all in the Empire uh, phase of the game. Um, the bot for its parts is still a barbarian state and it has some three if not four cards to go before we uh, see it ascend. So it's moving slightly slower than I am in terms of its development. Um, Okay, it is my turn. Last time we ended the game with the Solstice, so I now begin my turn proper. Um, looking at my hand, we can use... Um, we have the City of Persopolis, that's a nice Solstice ability. We have the Junk Unrest there. Uh, we can garrison with a Region. Oops, and I've thrown that across the room. Um, Okay, try that again. Uh, we have the Zagros De uh, region card. Uh, City of Persopolis is a solstice, as I mentioned. Uh, coinage, that's an exhaust, and it's a playable here. And it has a solstice effect. Okay, cool. Um, and then Glory. Okay, get me one of those fame cards. Let me start with Glory. Okay, Glory will... Uh, abandon three and then look at the top two cards of the fame deck and take one. Which three shall I abandon? I probably would like to abandon this one because I have the fame card in uh, uh, ready to go in a later phase of the game. I'll probably also abandon Bactria because there's nothing on it in terms of these symbols. Um, and the third one, possibly the forest. Let's abandon the forest. Um, and then I will take the top two cards of the fame deck and keep one. Okay, cool. We have Triumphant, which is just a large VP card there. Um, and then we have Glorious. Oh, okay, develop at no cost. That would be very useful, even though it's less VPs. Let's take that one. Keep that one in my hand. Okay. Um, do I want to develop straight away? Um, hmm. Do you know what? I think I probably do, to be honest. So let's develop. Uh, it's free, so this is not going to take an action. I will develop. I don't have to worry about the exhaust ability. Sorry, the, the fact that the deck is exhausted because it is a special card. Um, and so therefore I now can choose one of these quite pricey cards to um, to acquire uh, or, or to develop. Okay, players gain two, gain a point. Oh, let's have that one, that sounds good. Persian gold, that sounds very nice. Gives unrest to the opponent as well. Excellent. Windmills. Okay, that sounds interesting. Each other player abandons a house you may develop for... Okay, probably not so worried about that at the moment because it's a developing for um, regions. But then I do need those tributary cards. Um, they're a way of gaining points as the Persians. But no, I think... Actually, development's a nice one, isn't it? Choose to develop or pay two. Okay, that's a card as well. But no, I think I'll stick with this one. The Persian gold allowing me to gain points, gain stuff, and force the opponent to take uh, an unrest card. Okay. Um, but now I think I do want to get that solstice ability in front of me. So let's get coinage in front of me. Um, for my second action. It is an exhaust card, so I can exhaust it later. Um, and then it's also a solstice card. 
Uh, I will just have to check the rules to make sure you can use Solstice if a card has been exhausted. I think it does because you clean up before you do the Solstice. Um, that's my interpretation at this point. So that was my second action. And let's grab me another Solstice while I, while I can. Cool. Okay, that's my three actions. Um, Glorious goes into my history. Glory goes into my discards. City of Persopolis stays in front on the play area and the coinage will also stay in the play area. Okay, cool. Take the exhaust token off as part of the cleanup. Place one of these tokens, these often forgotten tokens. Um, oh, I like the temple. Temple lets me exhaust and return from my discard if I can. I'm gonna try and grab this card as soon as possible. It um, allows me to return an unrest card and I am stacking up those unrest cards in my deck at the moment. But cool, that might be an option for next time. Okay, uh, the only thing left to do is to draw up. I have three cards that will go into my discard for sure. So will the region. I'll keep the Persian gold though, cause a bit of havoc myself next time. So one, two, three, four. We have five cards, three of which are pretty useless. Uh, Barbarian era cards, which cannot be used. And then we have an unrest. So that's pretty poor showing for next turn. Okay, um, but first the bot. What's the bot doing? The bot's got a four. Bot is still Barbarian, so we'll still use the Barbarian side of the solo AI card. Um, and here we have the Caravan card, which is a infinity symbol, gaining one people, two materials, and then the card goes into history. Simple action, that one. Prosperity. Okay, this one, we discard a top card from the bot deck gain one people, one materials for each region in play. So that's two of each for the bot. And then uh, I may draw a card, which I think I will. That's poor showing on my hand uh, as far as I could tell. Okay, so that's my hand. That's my discard, my, sorry, my draw deck. Now I have the extra card in hand. Action number three. Uh, Mauritania, a region card, um, but we do have the infinity symbol and a couple of other symbols on there, but no, the region card is first symbol, so we will discard from the bot deck, play that card, which I've just done, and then exile a card from the market. The only one it can exile is this sacred pass region, um, which will go in there, and then we refill placing a new card, unrest card, because it is a uh, uncivilized card that's been revealed. Um, action number five, triumphant. Okay, this is a fame card. The fame action says simply gain a people, gain a material, and then place the card into history. So that's a nice 11 points right there for the bot. Um, okay, so slide down. Remembering the solstice, drawing up, but we cannot, so it will develop one or, or uh, shuffle in one of those nation cards. Give it a shuffle and then refill before I can then do my solstice actions. My solstice abilities is I think perhaps the right phrase. Okay, solstice, um, before I forget, two on number four. Uh, there are a few things that are very easy to forget in this game and I have added into my rules of review video I did last time, uh, some that I most commonly forget, top of the list of which is putting stuff on the on the market board at the end of my turn. Um, but anyway, Solstice. I may discard a card to choose a person or a or a 
material or draw a card. Okay, let's discard unrest. Now I need to draw a card uh, because I've discarded. Um, so I cannot because I don't have anything left in my, my draw deck, honest. You probably can't see it, it's slightly off screen due to the space I have. Um, now I do wish to develop again. Um, if I can afford it. So I've got three people and four materials. Let's see if I can buy anything. No, cannot buy that because it is five five people. Uh, we have four materials and two people to so let's pay three to gain an action. Mm. Don't really like that. Windmills is a free play, exhausting uh, some of the symbols in the region cards to in order to treat them as another type of symbol. I'm not so sure about that. Uh, can't afford the battering ram. Uh, what's this? Development. Oh, acquire. That one I can afford. Darius the first. I can acquire something, put it into my history. It's quite expensive, but then I do get one VP per flag. Don't know how many flags flags I've got though, to be honest. Flag the tributary cards with a flag on the bottom. But it might be worth um, grabbing that, I think. So let's do that. I'll have to exhaust the development deck and pay, what was it? Pay, uh, what was it? Three materials, two people. In order to take that card into hand. Okay, uh, still my solstice, isn't it? Uh, this action here is a solstice. And that's a solstice too. So let's do Persepolis first, which is the same as before. Um, that deck should have been shuffled to allow me to actually draw a card. Um, yes, that's right. Darius should have gone in the draw pile and shuffled up rather than straight into hand. Good job I caught that. That would have been a bit of a silly mistake. Um, right, same thing again. Do I discard in order to draw? Um, no, probably not. So let's grab a person, or grab one of the population tokens, should I say, um, and discard Conquer. Can't really do much with Conquer now. Um, and then gain two from that exhaust token that solstice on the coinage okay cool so that is my solstice abilities done um i put the two on there i think uh and then let's start my turn proper more solstice abilities very nice i will put that one in if i can persian gold i will use that if i can um and then i get stuff for my region cards i've only got one region card Okay, let me start with these two, I think. I think I'll start with these two. It will mean I can't be as efficient with my materials here by putting a, another region card in. But if I at least I can gain two, I can then possibly garrison my advance card, which is Barbarian, in order to remove it from my hand and then play Prosperity next time. Um, if that makes sense, it makes sense to me, which I suppose is, is the main thing. Um, so, Solstice. Gain, choose one, I can either gain one or pay two to gain a point. Okay, I like that. Let me play that as my first action. It will sit straight into my player area, um, but I'll leave it there for now. The next one is Persian gold. Everyone gains two people, which does sadly include the bot, but um, ho ho. Uh, but I do get my two to um, my two materials rather, not people. Um, and then the other players take an unrest card and that will go on top of their deck. So that's the Persian Guard, the second of my two actions. Um, okay, third action then I'll do, as I said, I will play the region card to be able to garrison the advance card out of the way because currently it just junks up my deck. Okay, there are the three cards played. Um, this one I'll keep in hand, but I 
before I can do anything else, I do need to just shuffle the cards around and place a point onto something. Um, probably onto that one. Um, okay, let's remove the various tokens that need removing. And then let's make sure the solstice effects are in the same place. This one is solstice, so it can go there. These two are just garrisoned. This one goes into discard. Draw up to four, sorry, draw up to five, so four, four additional cards. And we have, okay, some interesting things going on there for next turn. Okay, done the solstice. Bots go. That sort of fell. Try again. Four. Okay. Same result. Um, uh, okay, this one. Glory. Okay. Abandons three to take the top card from the fame deck. So it will abandon those three into its discard pile. And it will take the top card from the fame deck which is going to be triumphant. That's another 11 points for it when the time comes. Um, and then that card will be discarded. Action number two. It is a region and we're still in the barbarian period. So the region will be played. Uh, deck will discard a card and then exile. The first one, or well, the only one that can be exiled is actually that card there. Um, and that's the money lenders that comes out and that does require an unrest because it is a civilized card okay so uh action three unrest that just goes back and then the mercenaries card which is an empire and a civilized uh symbol and neither of those are here at the moment, so effectively it can't play it. So it goes under other, where it says, if possible, spend all its uh, materials to gain an equal number of VPs. It has seven materials. We will discard the seven in order to gain uh, seven VPs, and I'll just use that for change. Okay, that's it in terms of actions. So we'll slide down, uh, that can go there. Then I need to draw. Uh, two, go on number four, two materials tokens that is. Uh, materials because it's Carthage, uh, rather than VPs, which is what happens for me. And then I do the solstice. Okay, bunch of stuff I can do for solstice, awesome. So I can discard a card in order to gain materials, people, or draw. Um, do I want to discard a card? Yes, I want to discard my unrest card. Um, and I will not draw, I will take a people, uh, a population token. Um, next, I may just do exactly the same thing again. Um, I have some quite good stuff, so I won't do that now. But I do gain two materials for that solstice token. Nice little engine going here. Um, and then I can pay two in order to gain a VP, two people, to, two population tokens that is, or I can simply gain a population token for free. I think what I would like to do, because I'm gaining population, or hopefully I'll gain population anyway on my turn, thanks to my prosperity card, which is, has that ability, I will pay two to gain a point. Okay, that's all my, um, that is all my solstice tokens, solstice cards used, my solstice abilities used, meaning we now move into my turn proper. Okay, now I need to think about when the game is going to end. There are a few different ways it can end. It's unlikely to end due to collapse because we have quite a few cards in there still. Um, it is unlikely to end 
due to the bot deck running out because it's miles away from that. My development has got four cards left, so maybe. This one has the main deck here is has got tons of cards, so it's not going to end for any of those routes. So I suspect the way this game is going to end is if this deck runs out. Uh, the Fane cards. Um, let's see. Okay, right. So we probably have a little bit of time left. Um, but let's see how we go. So first thing I'll do is I will play Forest. Oh, okay. I will do Marvellous instead. I will free play, so I don't pay an action for this. I'll draw the top card of my deck, and then I choose to either discard return or put it into my history. I will return it. I don't want to lose these cards. These are a really helpful way of gaining materials for the Persian side. Okay, so that's played, but it's not an action. Um, let's play um, the forest card, which will be an action. And it allows us to exile a card from the market. Um, I cannot exile these. Uh, I don't really want to garrison any of my, my two cards here. Um, but what I will do, though, is I will play Prosperity, which will be an action. Um, and that will allow me to gain one material per bag. I've got three bags or one population per region. I have three regions, so population being more tricky to come by for the Persian faction. Let's take the three population tokens for prosperity. And then my final action, full action, will be to play glory. I'll abandon those regions and look at the top two cards of the fame deck, keeping one. So let's abandon those into my discard. Um, and then I will take the top two cards and choose one to keep. Okay, we have great, which is free play to gain an action. And I may put it in history. Now the VP condition is it's worth more if it is in history than the otherwise. And here we have a passive action or oh, passive ability increasing hand size by one that might be useful because that will help me get more of those development cards in my deck purely through having more cards in circulation okay cool let me take this one it's also worth a fair number of vps let me take that one so great we'll go back on top of the deck there um okay uh the cards that i've used uh, the tokens will need to go to one side. These will all need to go into discard. There's no need to put that into history. Um, this is the one that might be worth trying to keep so I can pl or keeping so I can try to play it to increase my hand size. So that will be my hand. Uh, one, two, three, four additional cards. Uh, oh, oh, horrid. Absolutely horrid. Having two unrest cards. Okay, need to think of a way of getting rid of those because they are negative points at the end of the game, as well as a junk, uh, a junk card for your hand. Um, we could always pay to do it with our, with our fairly sizable material collection there, but that would stop us developing if we were to do that. Okay, interesting thought, but first let's put the VP here meaning we cannot now, or the bot cannot now exile any of those cards. Okay, let's see what the bot will do. Three. The bot will conquer, which is an axe symbol, and it will spend three to break through for a flag. Otherwise, if able, it will spend Spend two. Well, we can do the first one of those. So we'll just spend the three population tokens and break through for this card here. And 
that card needs an unrest token, so we'll just keep it there. Um, okay, we don't put that conquer card into history because we didn't have the otherwise. Here we're able to do the first one, so we don't need to worry about the others. So, cool, that goes there. Next action for the bot is unrest goes to the discard. Then we have Notorious, which is a fame. Game one, materials and one population, and then pop that into history. And this is an unfortunate card for me because it it would score, uh, well, not so much for when you play solo, but if you were to play multiplayer, that VP scores points for every unrest card other players have. So that can be quite unfortunate for the other players if you have a bunch of unrest cards, because not only do you lose points for those cards, you also give points away for that card. But anyway, that will go into history. Action number five is uh, exports. We still cannot do anything uh, with the symbols on that card. So let's see what we do. And it's spend all our population, sorry, all our materials to gain the same number of VP. So that's just one. Uh, gaining one VP um, or prosperity tokens as they know uh, and that's it cool so two um, materials go on to number three we then refill and then I do the solstice I've got some rubbish in my hand this time, I really do. Um, okay. Having to think, having to think. I could discard those two unrest cards in order to gain materials. I will do that. So that's the solstice action here and the solstice action here. Um, discarded and then for both of them I will gain population rather than materials and the reason I will gain population rather than materials is because of this solstice card um, but first we need to do the coinage solstice which is to gain materials and then I will pay two to gain a VP um, now it's my turn proper. I have only three cards in hand. Uh, I think one of them I will play passive to get that extra hand limit. Uh, and then I might as well play all three. Let's play this one to gain me three prosperity. No point garrisoning my next card. Uh, sorry, not three prosperity, three materials. No point garrisoning the next card because this is one that allows me to acquire and I will acquire the temple card, which is this one. It's got a couple of VPs. I will get the unrest, but um, I also get some points, so that's fine. Uh, but that card now goes into history. So let's take these. Okay, so that's now my hand. Um, and I do need to think, do I play that card I've just picked up? because I still have one action to spend. And it's an exhaustibility and a solstice, solstice return a power, uh, uh, unrest card from a discard. So that would mean I can get rid of some of those cards, including them I just picked up. So this one will be played. So that's my third action. Um, I will discard that uh, and I move on to clean up. Moving action points. Um, I now have the passive ability, which increases my hand size by one. Um, so that should be six. I'm out of cards, so that will go into my hand. I need four more. Um, I don't have four, so let's pay if we can for some of these development things. Um, let's play for the battering ram. It's four population, it's quite a lot, but it will allow me to break through, um, even if other people don't abandon stuff. So that will go into discard. Um, 
that's exhausted it will cost me four population that battery ram and then shuffle and redraw six card hand limit um, got a bit of junk in there um, with this cards now now useless and obviously the unrest card is not the best thing to have either but we do have uh, glory can't be used oh dear this is actually kind of a sucky hand that I've just picked up but before I can use that it is the bots turn I haven't put a VP on, I keep forgetting that, so let's pop it on here so we don't exile potentially a VP point there. Um, right, uh, the bot needs to roll, and we've rolled five. Assyria, which is a tributary card with a flag, and Quite simply, they discard the top three cards from the bot deck. We can only discard one. We don't refill uh, like we would do for our, for our own hand. The bot just refills during uh, the um, cleanup phase of its turn. Uh, gain another one. Um, actually, though, however, having said that, I say another one. This one um, actually has the infinity symbol, and the infinity symbol is first, which means it gains a population and a or two materials, and then it goes into history. Okay, good job I caught that. Uh, action three for the bot is a um, region. It does have the infinity symbol, but now it is after. The region, so the region gets played. We can't discard the top card of the deck, but we can exile. And the bot will exile the gambling card. Bringing up something called the Cataphract. Oh, okay, that looks quite an aggressive card, particularly if it was multiplayer. You can force other players to abandon regions. Okay, interesting. Um, but first we have action number four, which is the barbers. And same thing, we have uh, a flag, um, but we cannot discard any cards because the bot deck is empty. So it just gets discarded. There's no other symbol this time to change that effect. Uh, that slides down to uh, materials, if I can find two materials go on to the um, mountain card there. So I'll break this into change like so. Okay, cool. Um, then we shuffle and refill. The bot gets a card from its dynasty deck into the, the shuffle pile. I do need to do a solstice um, so I can discard to and I will I'll discard that and I'll take rather than taking materials I will take um, oh actually I say that I don't have any population, so I do need to take population to play the benefit of this card. So let's take population in the first instance rather than drawing a card. Um, the next solstice ability is the same thing, so discard a card to either gain population, gain materials, or draw a card. And I do need two of those population to take effect benefit of this so let's discard another one for population again um, next solstice ability 
is gain two materials, running out of materials tokens again. Um, so I'll take five, give some change. Uh, this one allows me to pay those population to gain a prosperity token, which is otherwise known as a VP. Um, and then this solstice card here, the new one, the temple, allows me to return a unrest card from my discard pile into the deck. Excellent. Definitely feel like I'm getting a little bit of an engine going there, which is cool. It's only taking me most of the game, but hey ho. Uh, right, my turn proper. Um, okay, my turn proper. What do I do with four region cards and glory and just three actions? I could exhaust to draw a card. That's Yes, let's do that. I've not done that yet, this game. So let's exhaust. That card's exhausted. And we draw a card, uh, which is Prosperity, again, relying on the regions. Um, let's exhaust a second time. We can do it up to the number of tokens, and we've currently got two more in play, which will allow me to discard a card to gain a point. And let me discard... Um, let me just card and see uh, which will gain me a point. Um, leaving me with three full actions still. Okay, so I think my three actions are going to be play. Uh, okay, play Aracosia. It lets me put a card from discard into history. That will get rid of that barbarian card there, the advance. So that'll be the first one. Uh, I don't want to garrison anything, but that will go into history. Keep it out of the way for now. Uh, the next one will be... Uh, Bactria, gaining me some more prosperity. Not prosperity, um, the pink ones, which are... Whatever they are, um, they are materials. Um, I don't want to garrison anything, but I do want to play my Prosperity card, which will mean I can gain population because I've now got two cards in front of me with that region symbol. So I'll get two Prosperity. Population, even. The bot, though, will discard the top card of its deck, which is the May element of the of the game, of the card, even. Okay, that's the end of the turn. Um, the three action tokens get removed. Uh, those two stay. That's discard. That's discarded. The exhaust tokens are removed. Um, then I draw up, and this time, because of this card, I draw up to six. So I need four more cards. I'll keep both of these because Glory will let me take the Fame deck. So one, two, three, and four. Okay, I have now two unrests. So I can discard one to, um, I can discard them both, but that will allow me to play to, that, that effect there will allow me to return one to the, to the main deck. Cool, okay, and a free play. Oh, fantastic, outstanding. Right, that is the end of my turn. I just need to remember to place one of those prosperity tokens onto a card, um, and then the bot will go. One, okay, so this is first. Glory. Glory is abandoned three. We cannot abandon three, otherwise breakthrough for the region. This is the only region, so this card here We'll break through for the bot, keeping all that stuff. Um, and then the last of the region cards will come out into play. Of course, it's not the last region card because there are others sat in this deck. This section here, though, is now empty. So we will refill this, this region area from the main deck, which may or may not be a region card when we pull it. Um, Okay, cool, that gets put there. Uh, the next one. 
and mercenaries. Okay, we cannot play this still because we have not ascended, or the bot has not yet ascended. Mm, interesting. Uh, so that's other, meaning we spend our population tokens, our materials tokens, to gain prosperity. So many different keywords in this game, and they're so simple to muddle up, I find. So that was six in total. So we get six prosperity. Um, five and six. Okay. Uh, right. Next action for the bot is conquer. Conquer is a battering ram card. So it's a battering ram card, a battle axe card. Spending three to break through for a region. So three population will be spent and we will break through for, uh, not a region, a flag, sorry and the flags are not there, so we just hunt through the deck to find the first one. Okay, and the first one we come across is the Ionians, so that card goes there. Then shuffle the main deck. Action five is exports, same thing uh, as previously, where if possible we spend Materials to gain points, however, we cannot do that, so we acquire a um, region card, which is now the last region card. Um, so we have to refill now from this main deck. And that is a civilized card, uh, meaning we need unrest in that section. Two materials live on the first card there, and then we refill. Uh, then I need to do a solstice. Uh, I can discard a card to gain population materials or to draw a card, and I will do that. I will draw a card this time. I want to get some more de more cards out of this deck if I can before the fame deck runs out. And I've drawn Conquer. Oh, great. Um, may discard a card for the same thing. So I will discard Unrest to draw up again. Persian Gold. Great. I will use that to uh, force the bot to take some cards. Uh, next up, I have two materials. And I think I will break break into this here, swapping a 10 for the 8. Um, this one allows me to pay two people for two population, sorry, to um, gain a point. And then finally, the temple allows me to return an unrest to the uh, main area. Excellent, that is my solstice done. Main turn, and I think we need to focus on gaining one of those fame cards, which is going to be glory first. Before I can do that, I need to play a region. So that's the two cards there. That is a free play. I'm not so worried about that one for now. Uh, I can garrison that behind the region temporarily. And then the Persian Gold will force the bot to take an unrest card. Okay, let's play the forest, which is a region. I can uh, garrison and I have to exile a card. Um, oh, that's unfortunate. I really didn't want to exile. Never mind, I have to. Because uh, that card's another one that let me junk up the bot's deck. But never mind. Um, Uh, then now that I've done, yep, I will, I will, for now, actually there's no point in garrisoning because it wouldn't come back into my hand a minute ago. Actually no, abandon, we'll get it into the discard, let's, let's garrison that. Uh, so that's action one, action two will be to play the glory. Abandoning these to look at the top two cards of the fame deck. And the only two cards in the fame deck remaining are Praiseworthy or um, Great. I think I'll go for Great because I get free action with that. 
but that lets me break through. Mm. That's break through. Break through would be useful to get land, but this is a free play. Okay, let's let's pop that back and take the great card. Um, this marvelous card is a free play, so I will play that for free to draw the top card of my deck and this card or return to the top or put it into history. I don't really like this card. It's not done what I wanted it to do because of the necessity for wheat fields and water droplets. So I'm going to pop that into history, but at least I will gain VPs at the end, hopefully. Um, still got one more action. Okay, we're chaining together these things quite nicely now. And I want to use the Persian gold. Everyone gains two materials, including the bot, but then the bot does take um an unrest card while i take a point points are hard to come by in this game but takes the unrest okay that's the turn done uh these three cards need to be discarded I have two cards in hand. So I'll draw up just the four, which will actually mean that I do need to develop, but I don't have any population to develop. Damn. Uh, anyway, I take the two cards. I've got four more, two more to take. So let's see what I can develop. Uh, I can only develop the windmills, which if nothing else would be VPs at the end of the game. So let's um, develop that for a cost of four materials. Goes into the discard. I shuffle. And then take another two. Cool. Okay, bot's turn. Um, just got to remember to put the prosperity point on there. Uh, right, the bot got a four. First thing the bot does is prosperity, and it will gain one materials, one population per region. So it will gain two of each, and then. I can draw a card and it will discard a card. Or action number two is an infinity card with also several other symbols and a region. The region is first. We play this card, discard from the bot deck and then exile. Cannot exile because everything has tokens on. So that's fine. Um, Cool. Uh, and action number three is Ionians, which is a tributary. Um, the tributary is discard the top three cards from the bot deck. There's nothing else to supersede that. So we just discard one, two, three. <clears throat> and the final action of this round for the card for the bot is another region that comes before the infinity summon region comes region comes first so um we play that discard the top card there from the bot deck and then exile cannot exile okay cool that is bot's turn done moving into clean up for the bot we put two more into that uh let's slide that down take the card from the nation okay that is the last card before it ascends. So next time it needs to reshuffle, it will ascend into the empire. It's taken a bit of time for it to, to ascend. Um, but to be honest, each of these factions do ascend slightly different speeds. And I haven't played very much with Carthage prior to doing this video, but you know, we shall see, we shall see. Um, right. 
Uh, I've done everything, just need to do the solstice. And the solstice is discard a card as before. I will discard that unrest, if you can see that. No, <laughs> just discard an unrest. Um, I will also, uh, would, I, would I really want to draw up again? I've got a handful of cards here. No, I want to get points, so let's take a population from that card. Um, I'll discard another one. Uh, I think I will just discard uh, probably that one. I don't know, just so that again I can get population. Uh, this one will give me the two materials. Then I'll pay my two population to get a point, or what will eventually become a point. And then this one allows me to return from my discard that unrest card. Cool, We're getting rid of those nicely. And my hand is now much more manageable too. Um, before we go any further, I just want to trade these out for slightly Bigger tokens. No, this is free. I can exhaust something, but not a huge point. That's something I'll probably, if I can, I'll put that in the history because it doesn't really do anything unless I've got the right region cards and also the right prosperity card as well. Uh, okay. Now that would be useful to do it from my next, for my next turn. So I'm going to keep that one, uh, which means. We let's do that. Let's play the battering ram. It will be an attack card. So um, what that means is we will force the other player to do something if they have a matching symbol. Uh, symbol is kind of like a house. If the bot has a house in play, uh, it will dis it will abandon it. But we don't have that here, so we can't do that bit, which is unfortunate. But we can then break through for a region, uh, not a region or region or, or a tributary. We get points as the Persians for the tributaries. So let's break through for this one here. Popping that into hand, keeping the point. Okay, that's the first action. Second action, may as well play the Hittites. I just picked it up, break through for the region and then put that card into history. So that's my action. Uh, there's no region cards available. So I'll hunt for a region card in the main deck and looking for a yellow symbol and a yellow stripe. That's the first one we come across. That goes into hand and then shuffle the main deck, which is now getting quite thin actually. Um, and that's two actions. We now need to play the Persian gold, which will gain me a point and everyone will gain two materials. Swimming in materials. S giving points away to the bot though, unfortunately. Um, they, they get points for every 10 of these materials and population tokens. Um, okay, so that is potentially the end of my turn, but I do have a couple of free play cards on this one here allows me to gain an action. So I will play that um, for free, gaining me an additional action. And that additional action will allow me to um, play this. Uh, I, I want to get this card here out of the way. It's just, just not very helpful. So I'll play this. I will need to exile the card, but then I will garrison behind it. Okay, cool. So that is now my turn done. The card I am going to exile is the Onager card um, because it's the only one I can exile. Um, regions don't need unrest, so the unrest goes back there. Uh, end of my turn, meaning to clean up. I will keep that one for next time and hopefully I can put possibly West card here into the history. Um, And then I draw back up to six now because of the passive ability there. So one, okay, we have 
some junk, but we can still we can get rid of an unrest card now if we do the population uh, process correctly now. Um, cool. Okay. Uh, one thing onto onto there on here. It would be worth popping this onto something like that, I think, because I've got tons of materials. And this card here allows me to gain a VP for every 10 materials. So I will try and get that card if I can at some point in the rest of the game. Um, but first the bot on the two. Uh, okay, so first bot action uh, is a infinity and a region. So the region gets played, bot card discarded. And then they exile from the market. That's the only one they can exile currently. Uh, second action for the bot is advance, which is a barbarian axe, battle axe thing. It can spend three population, so it will break through for a flag. No flags visible currently, so we'll hunt through this deck to see if we can find one. Okay. That deck is getting quite thin, um, being an endgame truer and everything. Um, nothing else to do for the advanced card, so we then do action four. Uh, which is a uh, Ionians, which is a flag, and the flag without any other symbol to override it means we discard the top three cards from the bot deck. And then the final action for the bot this turn is Prosperity, and it will gain a load of stuff because we have five cards in play. So it will gain five population, five materials. Um, Three. Take some change from a tender, um, and then I may draw a card. Bot does discard cards as well, so I may draw. Uh, do I want to? Yes, I think I do. Uh, give me an opportunity to get a development card. Hopefully, when I draw up at the end of next turn, uh, prosperity goes. Uh, two tokens there and then the bot deck still has a fair few cards in it actually um, so it's not going to ascend for a little while yet um, okay uh, that's everything done apart from the solstice so my solstice ability discard a card to gain a person a population i will do that with my unrest gaining that population i'll do it again this time discarding my my uh, conquer cards so i can't play that it gains me together the two population um coinage gives me two materials totally gotta get that card to get points and materials this card allows me to pay those two for a point. Nice little point building engine. And then finally, the temple card allows me to return that unrest to the deck. Cool, solstice is done. Um, my turn proper then. How can I get that card though? That's the question. Okay, can't play glory yet because I'd have to abandon regions. I don't have any regions, so I might be worth. Yeah, let's play Aracosia. It allows me to put a card from discard into history, and then I can garrison. Don't like garrison, but I do want to get one of these cards into history. Which one was it? Probably the VP one, although this will junk up my hand. This one has VPs. Um, but it only has VPs uh, or a decent number of VPs if it's in history. So we'll pop that into history. 
then I will play uh, we'll play Bactria to gain three materials and then I'll play Prosperity this one in order to gain two population and take some of the pressure off next time in terms of getting enough population. Cool, that's my turn. Uh, nice and quick there. Uh, removing unnecessary cards. That goes to the discard. Those two stay where they are. The all too forgettable car, uh, points token. I'll pop it on that card in the hope that I get it. Uh, then draw up. I can only draw up two cards, so I need another two. And hopefully I can develop. I've only got two population, but I do have a whole bunch of materials. Uh, that's four and four materials, two. That would be quite useful. It allows me to develop. Yes, I'll get that because I can then develop uh, well, one of these other cards. Actually, no, develop's not the right action. How could I use that? I could take it this one to acquire, but it's expensive. I can't afford that one in terms of population. This one's the best one. It does let me acquire uncivilized or civilized. That card is civilized. So let's get that. It will cost me my two population and four of these materials. And then let's pop that into discard. Give it a shuffle. Draw two more cards. What have I got? Okay, not so good. But now the bot. Um, bot has rolled a four. That would be a useful card actually if I could have break through because that gives me a lot of materials, eight materials in total, but that would only score points if I get that card over there. So if there's time in the game, that would be for a bit later. But we are running out of time. This deck is getting thin, this deck is getting thin, and this deck is getting thin. So we probably haven't got a huge amount of time left. And I'm not sure how much we will get done. But let's go with the first action for the bot. Uh, Okay, it is another region card. Uh, this time though, nope, nope, it's a region card. The symbol for infinity is after it, meaning it will discard the top card from the bot deck and the next aisle from the market. Um, action two is uh, the Berbers which is a flag, meaning we discard three from the top. It's only two, so we do what we can, uh, meaning next time it will ascend. Okay, it is going to ascend next time it draws up. Um, unrest goes back, and the, uh, another one, um, region card. It's currently got seven cards in its play area for the regions. Um, play it, exile. I've been thinking all the way through actually that the fame deck will be the end game trigger, but at the rate it's going, I think it might be the 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 main deck. Especially if we keep getting knees and the bot gets them. Um one one good thing is most of these bot car the region cards don't have VPs for the bot. That that's something. Um right, that's it, I believe. Okay. The bot does need to draw up, so we get the City of Carthage, which is its Ascension card, into the deck there. We do then flip over that card to Empire. Now that means we also flip over this. So this is the Barbarian State card uh, actions. This is the uh, Carthaginian's Empire actions. So now we will do different actions because we've progressed as a civilization. Um, okay, but before we can do any of that, we need to refill the deck, place two tokens on the uh, card there, swapping that out for a five, and then refilling. Because with all these cards in play, 
uh, all these Cartier and play the seven of them. The deck for the bot is quite thin, so it's going to start progressing through its development cards quite quickly now. Because now that we've gone through the Ascension, the um, remainder of this deck is all development cards and it's in descending order of point value so it's going to get the most expensive or most valuable points cards first um but anywho time to do the solstice uh, i will discard that to gain a population um I think it would make, I can't, well, I can do glory. I just point me. Okay. Let's, let's, um, discard the scene plain to gain that second population. The solstice will gain me two, or sorry, the coinage solstice will gain me two materials. All good stuff. If I can get that card and then the temple, uh, will allow me to return car, a card from the discard. Um, but we don't have any unrest in the discard currently, and of course I forgot to do that, where I pay those two people, uh, two population, to gain another point. Okay. Now it's my turn proper. Uh... If I play what play this card, I can then play the glory, which will allow me to get the fame card, meaning the next fame card will trigger the end of the game. So two more fame cards to go. Um, okay. Okay, 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 okay. I don't have that card yet. That allows me to get that card. Um, but let's break through for the region. Uh, card because I'll put that in my history so that will be played allow me to get another one of these region cards uh, I can put a discard card with in my history pile using this card so my second action will be to play that allowing me to place the remaining conquer card from barbarian phase into um, the history and my final action I think is going to have to be to play the glory card oh before I do that let's free play marvelous choose the top card of the deck and either play it no sorry either discard it return it or put it in history now that's a good card to have next turn with the unrest uh, into the bot deck so let's let's keep that Put that back onto the top of the deck. I forgot to refill that. Um, so my final action then will be glory. I will discard or abandon those three region cards, meaning I can look at the top card of the deck. I don't really look at it, but I just kind of take it now and um, put it into my hand. Uh, that is the turn over for me. So these two will go. This card will go into history. These three cards here will be abandoned. And then these two will be discarded. Okay. Leaving me the choice to discard these. I think I will discard that one, but I'll keep that because I want to put that into my history to get rid of it. Um, but then also actually, if there's no other way of doing it, it will let me get that money lender card in the corner there so that one will stay then i need five more persian gold prosperity development which will also allow me to acquire okay um that's six the last one being the battering ram cool that's my hand limit the vp i'm going to pop it on there in the hope that the bot does not take it um but the bot then will Rolled a two, and it'll be using its um, empire side now. So the first action for the bot is the barbarian gains in materials, discard a card from the bot deck, and then place that card into 
history. So it's going to start getting rid of all those unplayable cards now that it has ascended. Action number two, which is card three, is Glory. If able, abandon three to gain the top card of the Fame deck. Otherwise, break through and I discard two. So it can easily do that. It will simply do the three cards that are most recently played, which I believe are those three, but it doesn't really matter too much. That's abandoned. Um, it will trigger the end of the game. Okay, so when the bot, and I'm just gonna have to double check this, but when the bot um, triggers the King of Kings card, which is that one. Now, normally you would have a certain uh, number of points, etc., 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 and then one final round before the game ends. So this is this is now the end game trigger. The bot has triggered it though, rather than me. Now, the, when the bot triggers it, it is slightly different to the main game. Okay, the sole difference is it gains three progress and draws the top card from its dynasty deck. Okay, so it's going to get three progress tokens and an additional card from its dynasty deck. That was that one, wasn't it? That's the dynasty deck. Um, and three progress. Okay, now that is the end of the game. That card flips. There's one more complete round, including solstices. Uh, that card may be activated again, but it will not. No one will take it. Um, uh, and and we'll go from there. So anyway, we are now at the end game. So just finish this turn, then I will do another turn. Uh, we have the Assyrians, which is no longer, uh, the flag is no longer a symbol. So under other, we say put the card into history, spend two to gain a point, and I get a, uh, one of these horrible um, unrest cards. So it will spend two materials to gain a point. Um, fifth action will be the city of Carthage, which has an infinity symbol. And it says gain two materials and put the card into history. Okay, so that is now uh, the coming up to the book cleanup. We still do what we do normally with the uh, materials and so on. Uh, but it is my only and final chance now to get that card that's going to give me points for that massive materials tokens I've got. Um, and that's coming up now as the solstice. Okay, so solstice, discard a card to gain a population, which I will do. I'll discard the unrest. Population. Um, then I will discard prosperity to gain a population. That is the card here. I'll gain two materials, but I'll take a 10 in order to get some change. Um, then I gain two materials. No, I've already done that. Then I pay my two population to gain a VP. And then I use my sources to return that card to the unrest pile. Cool. That's my turn over. Sorry, the source is over. This is now my final turn. And I really do need that money lender card. There is still going to be a a um, solstice after the bot's turn, so I can still get rid of a unrest card if I acquire one. So, and I'm going to because I also want this card, which lets me break through. But I want this for the full seven VP in the um, in the history. So we're going to use uh, this one, um, which says pay two materials to acquire civilized or uncivilized. So that's my first action, and I will pay the two materials. I think it's worth it to get that card because we have four VPs on there plus two materials anyway. It will give us points for those VPs, for those um, uh, materials cards. Um, I'll then play this one, which allows me to choose whether to put it in history or to break through. I will at this point put it into the history to gain the additional points. Forgot that I hadn't refreshed here. 
uh, my last action then. Um, okay, I will do the Persian gold. Everyone gets two materials um, and then the bot will get an unrest. Um, I get a point as well. Okay, so that is my three actions. I don't think I have anything free play. Oh, I do. Uh, do I really want to do that though? No. No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay, cool. That is the end of my turn. Let's clean up the actions. These all go into this card, with the exception of this one, which I chose to put into history. Gained me an extra five points for doing so. And then I simply draw up my cards. And the reason I do that is because if I need to draw again, I, uh, and I don't, oh, wait a minute. That's going slightly wrong. Let me think about whether I need to discard. Yes, I'm going to discard. They're all discarded. So I draw them up. I've got three cards in hand now. I do need my deck, meaning I can buy here. Except, of course, I can't because there is no population in my pile there. So I just take the remaining cards from this card without developing. Okay, so... That's the end of my turn and the end of my game. The only thing that will happen now for me as a player is to do the solstice. I hopefully get rid of that unrest card. Um, but the bot still needs to do its turn. And a five. And we have uh, mercenaries, which is a uh, going to be an empire symbol, which says if able, acquire a civilized or uncivilized, otherwise gain a point and take, I take a unrest. So it can acquire a civilized. It will take this one. It's the, oh, actually, five, six, that's just worth three. So we'll actually acquire this one. Um, and next turn, next action is a battle axe, and that will be put the card into history. We discard a card from the pile there, and then, then it will gain a materials uh oh and done in the reverse order there for no reason unknown reason uh fame put the card straight into history gaining it 11 points and then the last action for the bot is going to be exports which we can finally use for something other than other um so we have uh, a battle axe uh, uh, a sword which is a sort of a, an aggressive symbol uh, then we have the empire and then we have the civilized so a choice of symbols the first one we come across is a um the sword which means it will break through for the for a um tributary if it can there's none visible and are there any in this tiny tiny deck just the one um so it's broken three for another card there um that card goes into history itself i have to abandon a region but i don't have any regions so that's that's handy that's good um But then I may draw a card. Mm. So I want to do that? No, there's no point because it's the end of the game. Cool. So now we just uh, go through the process of refreshing the bot hand, or what counts as the bot hand, um, because there's always the possibility it will acquire or, or gain another development card, which it doesn't. And it pops to resources. Cool. The solstice, that's the only thing left to do. So I'll discard unrest to gain a person. I will then discard 
let's just discard that to gain a second person. I'll gain two materials. Uh, and then I will pay my two materials to gain a material population to gain a point. And then I will discard from my discard pile uh, unrest card back to the deck. Cool. That is the end of the second half of a game of Imperium. Cool. I will pause, work out the points, because the points can be a little bit uh, confusing, uh, or a little bit long-winded to do, so I'll pause the video and then we will look at who's won. Calculated the points, and first up we'll take a look at the bot. Now the bot scores points for VPs written as uh, stated on the bottom of the cards. It scores five points for each of these asterisk symbols. It scores um, points as stated for the VPs there, uh, the respiratory tokens, and then one point for every 10 of the materials and uh, population combined. Anything without a uh, VP symbol is not counted. Um, equally, uh, we don't count, um, we deduct even unrest, so it will lose four points at the end of the game. And when I've worked it out, we have some 34 points here, possibly due to the, the two fame cards at the bottom there, which were worth 22 points between them. We have some 40 points here. Ouch. And then we lose, uh, sorry, we gain 28 for the, for, the, for the prosperity tokens. And then we have some, uh, another two points there, minusing four, all included, all, all added up. It's 100 points for the bot. On to the points that I scored then. And in much the same way as the bot scores points, I get straight points for VPs, which was 24. I then also score straight points based on the cards, which was 38. I score uh, points for what these like question mark VPs symbols, which basically means it's one set of points if it's in history, another if it's not. Both were in history, giving me 13. I then scored a total of 27 for these cards, which I gave me um, uh, some, you know, the, the things like one VP per five other V five prosperity tokens, one VP per uh, flag, one VP per civilized card, and one VP per ten materials, which she gave me two points. I was quite surprised at. Um, and the one that really made the difference, though, was this one, which actually gave me one VP for grain or blood drop or blood drops, grain or water drops. Card that I picked up thinking it'd be useful, never used it, put it into history as soon as I could. It turns out to have been the winning card because it allowed me to count VPs on these region cards, which otherwise would have been worthless. And the total score then is. 102 for me, 100 for the bot, making this the very first time I have beaten Imperium Classics. Cool, that's the end of the video. Feels like a bit of an epic, this one. Obviously, in the real world, when I'm not explaining what I'm doing, it does not last quite as long as it has over the course of these two videos. But it is a great game. Thoroughly enjoy it, and I totally recommend it. To anyone who likes solo games um, where you have a challenging AI bot to beat. Um, all that being said then, usual thing, please like, subscribe, all that sort of stuff, and I will see you for another game next time.